Hello, and welcome to another Blackboard tutorial video. In this video, I will walk you through the new Blackboard Ultra page. As you can see, Blackboard's homepage has made some changes. In this video, I will walk you through these changes and finding the old information that you used to find in the old setup for the Blackboard page. First thing that we're gonna walk through is the tabs that we find on the left-hand side of our new page. Now, if you remember, when we first logged into Blackboard with the old setup, we had three words up at the top that said institution, courses, and organizations. Now we're gonna find those same selections here on the side menu on the left. So the first thing that we can find is institution page. When I click on this, I'm gonna find this page here, and it's gonna lead me to academics, admissions, tuition, and even the mdc.edu homepage. So anything that I click here will redirect me to another page on the mdc.edu website. So if you need anything in regards to academics or tuition or anything like logging into your portal, then you can simply come to institution page click on MDC home and it will link you back to that mdc.edu page where you can find your portal. Now, underneath this tab, you can find your name. In my case, I have Damaris Alvarez. When I click on this tab, it is going to link me to my profile where I can actually add a picture. So if I click here on the little pencil, I can add an image of myself and I can find other additional information that I myself can add. Again, by clicking on the pencil, I can even add my birthday. So you can go ahead and you can make this more personal and give more information regarding yourself. Now, if I come back to my left-hand menu, I can click on activity stream and I can find any of the activities that are up and coming. So anything related to my classes or even any organizations that I am linked up to. So in order for you to see anything upcoming that interests you, you can actually filter this by clicking on this little tool and selecting what notifications you would like to receive. So you can select what you would like to know and how you would like to have those notifications sent to you. So you can email yourself notifications as well. And you have all of these settings found here under your stream. So you can tailor it to whatever is best fit for you. Now, when you want to find your courses, you are going to select the tab that says courses here on the left hand side. When I click on courses, I'm going to find my current courses. Now, when I look at this current course menu, I can see that these are not my current courses. So I'm going to click on here where it says current courses and I have a little arrow and I'm going to select the term that I'm looking for. Right now I'm looking for spring term 2021. And now I find courses that I'm teaching at the moment. Now, if I want to go back and find, let's say my fall courses, I can go ahead and look for the fall term 2020. And here are those courses. So again, you can navigate this by simply clicking on this drop down arrow and you can select the term that you would like to see the courses for. Now you can also search your course so you can put in the name or the course number and you can find the course as well. Now for your organizations, right? If you were part of the CIOL org or if you had the MDC Commons, you can go ahead and select this tab here that says organizations and you can go ahead and find the organization that you would like to go to. So I can click on the CIOL org and it will take me to all of those documents for the CIOL org. I can go to the MDC Commons and it will take me to anything related to the MDC Commons and that organization. So here is where I would find that same tab that usually we had up at the top that's at organizations. That is the same one that you're looking for here. And again, you can click on this drop down and see any organizations that you were part of during a particular term as well as well as coming down here and looking for those organizations here in the drop down list. Now for your calendar, you can go ahead and select this tab here that says calendar and you can add events to your schedule. So you can go ahead and select here to add any events or you can also see any due dates. 
Now, again, you can filter what you want to see by clicking on this little calendar settings tab, and it'll allow you to choose what it is that you would like to see. And you can go ahead and clear all to get rid of the old classes and then go ahead and select those that you would like to see the due dates for in the spring. So you would come down here and find the classes and then you can go ahead and adjust those settings to see what you wanna see. Same goes with the schedule. If I come to my schedule, I can click on this tab and again, I can select what I would like to see show up on my schedule. So I can go down as well here to messages and if I click on messages, I can see any messages that I have from organizations as well as in my courses. And this is great because if I find my courses, if I can come up here and click on the semester so I can navigate it through the arrows and I can find the semester that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go to spring term 2021. I navigate it again by these top arrows and when I click on spring term 2021, what I can do is that I can now see the messages in any of my courses. So typically for my fashion courses, I have students email me directly to my email and I navigate this all through my Outlook. However, when I teach for the online college, they do have the actual course messages installed within the course on Blackboard. And it was very hard to have to manage going back to each of my courses to see if I had a new message. Now all I have to do is come here and it will tell me if I have any course messages here on Blackboard directly, making it really easy for me to manage all of the emails coming in from my students. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna go over the grades tab. And when I click here on grades, again, they don't have a drop down menu for us here, they only have that arrow. So I'm gonna look for the semester that I want to find the grades for. In this case, it's gonna be spring term 2021. And I have nothing to grade as of now. My classes aren't built out yet. But if not, we would see all of this information here. We would see all of this information here. Now, I won't go over tools because it's not something that I am familiar with. And when I took part of the actual workshop regarding this ultra base, it wasn't something that as professors we would be manipulating often. So it's not something that I will go over in this video. Later on, if it is requested, then I will create a separate video if we are using this feature. If you have any questions, please let me know and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.